over you all. Hope you all are fine. Yes, children. In our last class, we have been dealt in the grade seventh, the exercise number one point one. We successfully completed the exercise number one point one. So now we need to go for the next exercise. Right. In the next exercise, we have many questions. Okay. In that, we are supposed to go for the first name. So take your book, children. Okay. See the question. First, write down a pair of integers whose a first sum is minus seven. I think you have been learned in your earlier classes. What is the meaning of sum? Okay. Children, see here. Write down a pair of integers. You know. I think in the integers chapter itself, no. You know what is integers? Okay. So whose sum means? Sum means it's an addition. Correct, right, children? Sum is minus seven. So whenever you add two integers, you need to get minus seven. So according to the question, I am going to take a solution line. It is to be done sum. So I write plus. Okay, children. So if you want the sum to be minus seven, means two integers you need to take. Okay. It's sum how much it has to come? Minus seven. So that if two integers sum means we need to think of these two numbers. Okay. So if I am going to take minus five. Okay, so for this minus five, I need to add with sum of a number. I need to add with a sum of a number to get minus seven. So I want to take here one more integer that has minus two. Okay, so look, this is also minus, this is also minus. How I am getting here minus seven? You may ask. So you are supposed to write a working column at the right side. So you check it out. I am going to take these two numbers. So minus seven plus of minus two is equal to Minus seven, I know, correct now. So how it is to be done? Check it out. First, I am going to take it as a minus five plus into minus is a minus two. That will be minus seven, I said. So check it out here in the LHS. Minus five, minus two is equal to minus seven. That is equal to minus seven. This is a working column for the verification. But in the solution, you just need to take these two integers. Okay, the sum of minus five. Plus of minus two is equal to minus seven. Okay, like that. What is the second question? The second question is B. It is being mentioned as a B. The question is difference. Difference is minus ten. Check it out. So in the A, it was a sum. So now here it is difference. Okay, difference in the sense you need to take a subtraction. Correct. You know the meaning of a difference means subtraction. So I took a minus. Okay. So then now we need to take a two integers. Its sum, sorry, difference must be equal to minus ten. So check it out, children. If I am going to take a one number like a minus two. Okay. So this side it is minus two. For this, how much I have to subtract to get a minus ten? So if I am going to subtract here with the plus a, then I am going to get a minus ten. So shall I show you how it is? It's for the verification in the working column. So I am going to take a minus two difference. They said to take a difference, correct? It is minus. So I am taking a plus a. That should be is equal to minus ten. Okay. So minus two plus into minus is minus. A that is equal to minus ten into six or no? So check it out here. It is minus two minus a. What is this? It is the sum of two negative integers. Why? Because it is a minus two. It is also minus two. When I added two negative integers, I got minus ten. This minus ten is equal to minus ten. Is it understood, children? So like that, we need to go for the C question now. The C question is. Sum is zero. What a big guess, right? Sum means it is zero. Any two integers we have to take. Okay. So very easy as if I want whichever I can take. I want to take a five minus five is equal to zero. Correct or not? One is a positive integer, one is a negative integer. In this, this was subtracted means we get a zero. Okay, children. Now we can go for the second main a question. See the book. In that, 
second main a question write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 understand the question properly children see here write a pair of negative integers it is to be negative negative integers whose difference gives 8 it should give positive number at the end the result should be given positive number okay but we need, we need to take a negative integers okay so negative integers means you know there must be negative symbol for the integers how many are there a pair one pair a pair of negative integers whose difference gives it difference means its subtraction correct now so according to that now we take first difference now so i am going to take a minus for that okay difference of negative integers two integers difference we need to get as a plus 8 correct now so i want to take a minus 2 as a one of a negative integer okay so one more negative integer if i need to take i cannot take two minus together at a time so i am going to take a bracket for this one more integer i assumed as a minus 10 okay so minus 2 minus of minus 10 should be getting as a plus 8 right let us check okay minus 2 minus into minus plus it is 10 so in the 10 i can subtract 2 so i am getting it as a plus 8 here yeah, nothing is there plus will be there as they have been asked here 8 so i got an answer as a 8 here yeah, children now b write a negative integer and positive integer whose sum is minus 5 understood children here what we have to write write negative integer write a uh, means only one negative integer ok then a positive integer one more positive integer one negative integer one positive integer ok after that whose sum is minus 5 sum in the sense we need to go for adding of it correct now so sum of one negative integer and the positive integer should get as a minus 5 so I am going to write a solution now ok so the solution at the end as they have given an answer that I need to get minus 5 by the sum of one negative and one positive integer ok so now here I want to take one negative integer as a minus 7 ok for this minus 7 I need to go for sum of in the question it says given as sum of so I have to take here as a plus ok for that how much I have to add to get a minus 5 so this is equal to minus 5 correct so how much I have to add I need to add with a 2 ok check it out if I want to clarify you people for my verification means I can show you the 14 column so like minus 7 plus of 2 gives minus 5 it is same ok so one is a negative one is a positive integer means we need to go for a difference of it so in 7 if I have subtracted the 2 so subtract and subtract to your side it is plus here no because one is a positive negative integer one is a positive integer means you need to do the subtraction of it among that you should not consider the symbols in the bigger number you have to subtract the smaller number the bigger number is 7 the smaller number is 2 in 7 2 has gone means there is a 5 ok without considering the plus symbol which is big 7 is big 7 is having a big symbol minus so it is minus 5 so that minus 5 is equal to minus 5 then our answer is right understood children yeah now children go for the second main c write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3 check it out here they gave as a minus 3 to do ok so here what they said difference is to be done difference means subtraction ok one negative integer one positive integer ok by that too we have to go for finding the value as minus 3 ok children so first let us take a negative integer I want to take a negative integer as minus 2 ok and the positive integer they say correct right so if I take a positive integer then check it out what I need to do difference I need to do correct now so let me take a plus 1 ok if I take a plus 1 what they say for me to do to make a difference so then I have to take a 
minus symbol in between these two integers. So what is the result I have to get? That the result I have to get is minus 2. Check it out. So minus 2 minus into plus is minus 1 that gives minus 3. Why? Because these are two negative integers. When I make a sum of two negative integers, I am getting it as a minus 3. Okay children, now we have been finished with only two problems. Correct. So now onwards I will be a little bit fast. Okay. Why? Because now you understood how to add and how to subtract. Okay. You have to cope up with that. If you have any doubts regarding these two means, you can call and contact me. Okay. Bye.